for this particular system, we have a, a failing uh, drain field out uh, on that direction. So what I did was I just made a quick slit over top of the pipe to see if there's any back pressure. And sure enough, there was. It's leaking out uh, the back there. And then we dug out the uh, septic tank lid. And uh, sure enough, it's right up atop the top of the tank. So if we had uh, cut that particular pipe and connected to here, we would have had a lot of back pressure from the septic field. And then the septic tank there would have emptied out into our trench that we just dug. There's no way that we could have possibly stopped it. So instead of cutting it the, uh, right off the bat, what we did was just run our grade. We dug our trench, positioned our pipe, ran it to the distribution box. So now we have our distribution box, which is going to feed this seepage bed. Again, we have some challenges on the site. We have wires overhead. And uh, because the seepage bed is fairly narrow and long, we're not gonna be able to get the excavator in through here because of our close quarter site challenges. So what we're gonna do is basically just do uh, our narrow seepage bed. We're gonna do one quarter length at a time. Of course, we always have challenges and uh, here we have another post from the fence uh, we weren't going to knock down just uh, to make uh, things a little more efficient in the end. So right now we've got our uh, sand line bed. It's pretty much level, perfectly level there. And we're going to add the top rock, uh, basically six inches of rock, and then we're going to put our uh, piping network over top of it. Okay, so we've got a portion of our seepage bed in now. Now I'm going to start uh, putting some aggregates over top of the pipe because we need uh, about two inches cover over top.
getting towards the end of our uh, seepage bed. Here we have observation ports on either end. So we've got slits on the bottom to allow for moisture. That way we can observe by popping the cap, see if there's any uh, water infiltration into the field. Now we just need the uh, cover aggregates and we're, we're done. So on these uh, old tanks, uh, at the end of each uh, area, distal end of the tank, uh, we'll have portholes. So on the inlet side, we should have a porthole. On the outside hole, we have a porthole here as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clean this up, pull this off. As you can see, it's already breaking down over the years. And we're going to retrofit this thing with a, uh, a T that goes directly into the outlet so that we can put an effluent filter. Because right now there's absolutely nothing from keeping the solids from going out to the field. And because we have a brand new field going in, we certainly don't want to have those solids going into the new field. So what we're going to do is retrofit this with the with an effluent filter and a new T. So at the end of the day here we uh, managed to get a septic pump truck. We got guys over at Interior Septic. Uh, we were able to get them uh, here at the end of the day, help us out with this situation here. The septic tank is just way overflowed and we uh, wouldn't be able to uh, reconnect to that until the tank is pumped. Just a lot of back pressure from the field. Good guys over at Interior Septic Tank out in West Kelowna helping us out today. Incredible blockage on the outlet. So now we separated that pipe, the outlet pipe, and uh, that's all the biomat that was coming back from the field. So we had quite a bit of blockage. Here's the pipe that we cut out there. As you can see, a lot of biomat buildup. It was clogging that whole outlet area leading out to the field as well. And so all that was really clogged right up so it wasn't going anywhere. So now we're just gonna hook back up so that we can get that effluent into the field. Okay, so now that the baffle is uh, removed, this effluent filter is now going to slide in there, just like so. So we'll work on getting that in place. Uh oh, we need an extension. <laughs> so I don't think my head's going to reach down there, is it? No. seal in there. So this particular one we're putting a six inch sewer pipe on top of that so it nestles in with this square shaped effluent filter. So we have a bit of a riser. And now we're just going to concrete the sides in so that way this is absolutely stabilized and the maintenance provider can come in here and pull that filter out. Now we just added some cement mixed with some of that Squire mesh. Oh, sorry. I guess I should have called Jay. And inside we have the effluent filter. We've hooked up the line back up to uh, the main port leading to the distribution box. Sweet. Gotta get that boot back on.
So this is our finished effluent filter upgrade. Yeah, that's stick we got. That's probably pretty good. That's our effluent filter upgrade. All tied into the main line leading to the distribution box. And we're just backfilling the field. So we just finished backfilling everything. The uh, septic tank is here. Here's the outlet. And uh, we're heading over to the distribution box. So we just have to uh, finish uncovering the distribution box. We just finished uh, backfilling everything. That's one of the monitors. And then we just put the fence back together, going out into our field area. So we just finished grading everything. And here's our other observation port. And that's how it looks after.